with this one that I have not ruined yet. I, I have, I'm not going to uh, take the sticker off on this one. Um, so, yeah. So And also, man, look at this thing. The back side of the board, it doesn't have any components on it, right? So it will be hard for uh, um, metal components in there to, to touch the back plate, okay? So these thermal pads, you know, if you have a component in there, uh, let me like point that, you see all these things? I mean, that's something that could have happened. I, I saw one spot uh, on my thermal pad where I thought maybe one of the components um, poked through is actually on this side right here. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's actually on this side. So it looked like this, you know, one, look like this one poked through the uh, thermal um, thermal pad and may have made contact. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I do see a mark that's, um, that's on there. So that's a possibility. So let me just show you right here. I don't know if that indentation is still there or not. Well, maybe not. I, I don't really see it anymore. All right, well, I don't see it anymore, but um, you got what I'm saying here, right? Um, so I, I don't I don't think I would recommend this uh, MVME unless you're going to use it as is. If you are not going to put a cooler on it, then you're probably fine with it. But as I said, um, when I was running it that way, and also my uh, M.2 is mounted right underneath the GPU, so no airflow and some of the heat, um, you know, may have uh, transmitted from my uh, GPU to this M.2. So, you know, I don't really know, but yeah, so I would recommend, you know, for me, I wouldn't get something, you know, I think, let me see here. Yeah, so I came like this, so I don't, you know, so yeah, I definitely would not get something that's this thick. You know, I, I would want the, all the NAND cells to be on one side, so it keeps thin as possible. Um, I don't want any components on the other side, on the opposite side, so that it could, uh, you know, pierce the uh, thermal pad material and possibly arc on the back plate on a cooler like this, you know. Um, you know, and and also the uh, the thick aluminum, you know, metal heat sink or heat spreader, not a, uh, with uh, with um, thermal thermal uh, tape that also has thickness. Uh, yeah, definitely would not do anything like this ever again. Um, I've seen the temperatures that the that this one ran at, which was seventy to seventy five degrees Celsius. I mean, they will throttle and uh, um, have problems. Like I said, uh, it, it gave me a warning message for bad uh, M.2, you know, for a little bit, maybe about 10 seconds um, on the monitoring software that I was using at the time. So yeah, like I said, uh, NAND cell on one side, no components on the back to uh, pierce the uh, thermal uh, pads. So, and also no thick heat spreader. Okay, so yeah. And that's because I'm always planning on using something like this to cool the uh, SSD. Um, I could probably run this without this fan and I might do that. Cause you don't want the NAND cells to run too cool. So I'm, I'm gonna let the fan run at first and see what kind of temperatures I get. But if, uh, if the temperature is too cold I'm going to turn I'm just going to unplug this uh, fan okay so supposedly uh, the NAND cells are good to run around 60 65 degrees Celsius the controller is what's gonna get hot and you know so hopefully this uh, makes it uh, reliable and uh, like I said, I'm not going to modify this thing in any way, shape, or form or take the stickers off or anything like that. 
because I definitely don't want to mess up on the warranty. Um, and also, uh, this is a TLC unit, so that it's got a better warranty um, as far as terabytes written. TBW, uh, I think it stands for terabytes written. Um, so, all right. I'm not gonna record myself installing this this time. All right, like I said, I'm going to offset it so that it sticks out a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I think that's fine. So the screw is going to go, the standoff is going to fit through this right here. And the screw is only gonna go through the uh, M.2 board. So I think that's the way we want to do it. Should be good. Yeah, I'll show you with a standoff. Right here, so right here. So the screw is gonna go through right there, okay? But it's not gonna go through. The screw is not gonna go through that. So it's not gonna give any uh, cantilevered uh, force on the on the board. So that's gonna be key, I think. Um, from the reading that I did on the reviews, this one guy gave that, um, gave his opinion on that and I like, and I think, I believe him that that's probably the best way to go. Okay. So I got this on there. Okay. Right, this time I'm not taking any sticker off. I'm just going to use it as is. Uh, this, these stickers are fine for heat transfer, so I'm going to lay it. Just like that. Okay, well, okay, that's on there. So now I'm going to go like this. So, so let's say the PC is right here. Um, this is going to be the front of the PC. And this is the rear of the PC. And it's going to go like this. It's going to plug like that. Um, so I already had this modified already. Actually, this fan is turned backwards. Took it out. Turned it uh, around. And also clocked it 90 degrees to fit this way. So it could actually pull air instead of pushing air. Because the PCIe cable is right here. I didn't want heat going through that, so I wanted air to go this way. And uh, I didn't want to mount this way because um, I wanted to um, have better access this way because the CPU cooler is right here and it's huge. Right here, if I need uh, access, um, you know, I could just take the GPU out of the way and also the capture card I have underneath out of the way if I need to uh, have access to it. So that's what I'm planning on. I don't know if it was a good idea or not, but um, we'll see how that works out. All right, so yeah, this is ready to be installed. Cool. Yeah, the stand off is gonna go right there instead of the standoff being making contact with the uh, um, back plate. 
and then screw going through and because it, it would cause cantilever pressure the other guy said offset a little bit so that you'd only get the screw you know, between, you'll have the screw and then the board and then the standoff not the thermal pad and the uh, um, back plate so going like this will leave make sure that there's no other pressures on the M.2 board okay so that's what I did after reading the guy's comment um, review all right here's my uh, PC I got my flashlight there so you can see better um, so I mounted the uh, GPU vertically so I can have the broom oh shut uh, for the uh, M.2 NVMe with the uh, aftermarket cooler uh, made by uh, Ineo, I think that's how you say it. So yeah, yeah, I definitely want the cooler on there because the first uh, M.2 which I messed up got really hot, got up to 75 degrees Celsius, and uh, the monitoring software said it was bad. So about 10 seconds. So. Uh, but anyways, I messed up that uh, M.2, so I bought a brand new one, got the uh, aftermarket cooler on it. I really actually like this uh, M.2 way better, the way it fits with the uh, with the aftermarket M.2 cooler. Uh, that thing is massive, it's got a fan on there. Um, can't see it on the top because I uh, put the fan on the bottom. Um, yeah, you can see the fan right there. That's the, we're looking at the bottom side. I actually flipped it, uh, so yeah, I flipped the uh, fan around so that, and then I clocked at 90 degrees so I could have the fan on the bottom and pulling air down, um, so I don't send any hot air to the uh, PCIe visor cable. That's actually a uh, uh, link up Gen 4 cable, which I guess I didn't need, but that's fine. I could have come with Gen 3, which is a lot cheaper. So there's my setup. Um, so I just want to show the uh, test result. Um, so here's the uh, crystal disc info, and there's the uh, crystal disc mark. Um, shows the uh, temperature, which is 28 degrees Celsius. That's ridiculously cold because of the uh, the massive uh, heat sink. Uh, you know, massive cooler with the fan on there. So you can see right here, this is brand new power on count, one count, only turns around once. And here's my uh, test results. Um, so if you look at this right here, it says the speed, rate of speed is uh, rate, read speed, 33,200 megabytes per second. Okay, look at that, it's over that. I'm reaching faster speeds than what it says it does. Also, write speed, 2,900 megabytes per second. Well, I'm definitely going over that rated uh, speed. Um, I should have bought this to begin with. Uh, there has great reviews, um, and the speeds match up. Um, it matches up with what other people were saying. It gets faster speeds than, than it's rated for. Uh, I actually regret buying this uh, S50. XPG X50 Lite, um, it was not reaching those speeds, uh, even when it was cool. Now, granted, I didn't have this cooler on there when it was working, so maybe it could have reached the speed it was, it promised, but um, even when uh, I had nothing else on it and just ran it uh, before it reached the uh, high temperatures, that speed was never as high as the uh, advertised speed, so. Um, so yeah, um, Inland Premium, um, this is a two terabyte, um, this is a uh, TLC 3D NAND. So man, yeah, I wish I bought this again. These two are actually the same price, okay? So if you're looking at these two, um, and you might be looking at this just because this is a uh, Gen 4, but this is only four channel, this is eight channel. So, and this is Gen 3 at three channel. So this is getting the faster speeds, okay? So, and this is a TLC instead of a QLC. So 
reliability wise this is going to be better it's going to have faster speeds overall more reliable um this is only junk because i messed it up probably so but i i believe this is way better um the nan cells are only on one side back so it doesn't have any components that can stick out if you're going to put aftermarket coolers on there so that's you know that's huge so um yeah i wish i knew how much better yeah and then premium two terabyte was compared to this one that's not as good so yeah i'm very happy so far uh hopefully uh this is a key being good for another you know at least five years or maybe 10 years yeah i'll probably upgrade by then i mean so i guess i don't need to last 10 years <laughs>